that they're paid by a con. And they'll say, First of all, the crowd is the real story of the show more than anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, they were into everything. And I will say this just because we will probably get heat. If we do not say anything, I would just say Bailey's pants. I didn't even notice. Got to be kidding. I was watching the fantastic action in the ring with these two yeah. great athletes. I was watching a fantastic, never mind, buckles everywhere and Tom's trying to find a pair. Yes. <laughs> Let me get this straight. There are SmackDown wrestlers in the tournament yes. to crown the Raw champion. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's stupid. That's the draft is stupid. This yeah, whole I thing is stupid. The, point. the brand split is stupid. The title tournament is stupid. The extra belt is stupid. It's all stupid. And it all started as soon as Vince came back. Because he is stupid. I became what they call an Oma Sapien when these fans are singing this fucking shitty song and Seth is standing there in the middle of the ring with his eyes closed going like this. And so Omas booted this motherfucker in the head and yes. went to work on him. As he should have. Jeffrey has a great question here. Who does Brian hate more? Oreo or Seth Rollins' song? Well, to be honest, I would much rather listen to Seth's song. Really? Well, because I can tolerate his song once or twice a week. I could not tolerate that fucking whale in this office once a week. Could not what if happen. Oreo was singing it? And now I'm envisioning whale song to the tune of Seth Rollins' theme. She was so impossibly over here. She's crying before the match starts. She's crying after the match is over. It was absolutely amazing. I'm trying to remember the last time I saw anyone in any field, in any venue, in any place get a reaction like Carlito got to come out here and save Bad Bunny in Puerto Rico. I was never the biggest fan of old Carlito. Let me write that down. Mostly because of his gimmick, which was bullshit. His gimmick was that he was a guy who did not like guys that did not like to be cool. Right. And he ate an apple. So sick of this bloodline bullshit. If, if, if you're, if you're going to break up, break up. Brock listeners, beyond being a physical marvel, is a lunatic, a complete <laughs> freak, who decided to bust himself open hard way by throwing his face right here between the eyeballs mm -hmm. into the exposed steel and yanking on it <laughs> to tear it open. Good God almighty. Time for the major announcement, everyone. Are we ready? I a drum roll, but I don't have any drums. You can also find me at Vincent Verhey on Cameo. Oh, my God. I will send you a happy birthday wish. <laughs> I will send you a happy anniversary wish. Happy Mother's Day. That's just around the corner. Granny, you ever thought about being on Cameo? What is it? My computer, my front page is uh, Microsoft. And I go through there and see all kinds of lies and stuff like that. And here you are. You're doing a commercial. And then you had me on there. When I was ranting about WrestleMania, did you get my permission? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, <laughs> what? Just, just stop You're... for a second. Your front page is Microsoft. I guess. Yeah. I don't even know what that means, your front page is Microsoft. What do you mean you go through there and see all the lies? What does that mean? Well, they have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, about this and that and this and that, you know, all kinds like of news. Like the news? News? I don't post the videos. I don't edit the videos. If you saw some video or some commercial... I have no idea what it is or where it came from or who edited it together. I'm sure it was someone from the site. It's not, no, Tony, it's not Tony, and it's not Dave, and it's not me. And it's not Vinny. He's busy doing cameos. That's right. The new guy. Who's this by? Uh, Bud, but, or what is it? Bud Bunny? Bad Bunny. That's... Sounds like she's had some Bud Bunny. <laughs> okay. That's all about Touché. that. Nails. The Iron Shield, Jeff Hardy, <laughs> Shawn Michaels, and Hogan. How's no one use the Iron Shield? <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind having one of those cameo things to keep from being so lonesome. Will you go visit this woman? Connell Benoit is the name CM Punk. Came up on this show a few times. Yeah, yeah. He's coming back, everybody. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is news to any of you. It mm -hmm. shouldn't be. They had the line about how I was, I was attacked. An unprovoked attack. An unsafe working environment. If you're in this building, I will not be in this building. This is not supposed to be a spoof of what happened at All Out. The, well, the All Out press conference. I mean, it's supposed to be, but it sure feels that well, way. Well, you know, uh, apparently, uh, I guess it was 
They didn't even think about it until it was brought to their attention, apparently, hmm. was what I was told. Luckily, Arn is looking for a new son himself. Well, Arn had two sons. One of them died. That sucks. A month ago. Hmm. When he said that line, I think he actually was talking about Brock. But I think when the words came out of his mouth, he remembered that uh, Arn's other son had passed away a month ago. Yeah. Here's the roof, he says, where I drove my car off. Very casually. Like, it's something we've all done with multiple cars and multiple roofs. And they have a clip of him driving a car off his roof. They decide, we're going to turn the fucking lights out. If you like it, great. But it's my podcast. I get an opinion. I thought it sucked. I thought of Sin Cara. I thought of Bray Wyatt. This motherfucker, Don Callis. This despicable bastard. A horrible person. Jumps in and fucking gouges Kenny Omega in the head. They cut to Danielson. He's like, oh. <laughs> he's so happy. Yes. He's, he didn't see it coming. No. This... He didn't know. Mm -hmm. But goddamn, what a gift. Trick Mellow's at the barbershop. Trick sits down and says, I'm going to beat the brakes off Braun Breaker. Make sure my fade looks good. I look good. I've been working. I'm going to whip his ass tonight. I'm doing this for you. And I'm doing this for me. And he storms off, and he never got his fate fixed. Well, you know, right. he got distracted. I guess so. Just watch Thea Hale being Thea Hale as Big Body Javi and Duke Hudson are going back and forth. I can't even call her a cartoon. Cartoons have more depth. She's a human emoji. Some other guy shows up. Some other gal blows off this some other guy. Vaughn beats up some other guy. Some other guy calls Vaughn a freak. Yeah, the other guy was making fun of his uh, brow. Who is he? I don't know. Okay. Braun Breaker. Good God, this guy. He used to be Rick Steiner. Now he is Rick and Scott Steiner. Basically, yes. And he has taken the best of both of them and created this this evil Braun Breaker character. This guy is going to make a surprise appearance one of these days on Raw or SmackDown, and he's going to be an immediate main eventer, like immediately. I can't say enough good things about him. 